We are at the Ola Electric Future Factory here in Krishnagiri, Tamil Nadu, built over 500 acres in a span of just nine months. Ola Electric says that when fully operational, this factory will have a capacity of 10 million units and that will make it the largest electric two-wheeler factory in the world. This is where the S1 Pro scooter rolls out from. Ola Electric boasts of setting up an assembly line for half a million vehicles in a span of just seven months. A state-of-the-art factory run by 1,700 women deployed across functions. Ola claims to have manufactured more than 50,000 scooters so far. But vehicle registration show approximately 24,000 scooters delivered. The company in its defense says actual deliveries are much higher as there is no data on temporary registrations. While Ola says all bookings received in November and January have been delivered, company officials did not confirm the actual number of bookings and deliveries during this factory visit. Several Ola customers have gone on to Twitter to complain about delayed deliveries and lack of transparency. To add to that, customers have complained of accidents caused by sudden movements in the vehicle and several of them have complained about battery performance and overheating. Raising the question about whether the rush to launch a vehicle has caused issues with battery performance and its cooling mechanism. Parikshit, I think, uh, you know, whenever a new, uh, new disruptor comes to the market, no, uh, it might make many people uncomfortable and that increases the noise levels in general around. If you look at our, uh, look at our product, you know, if I ask everybody in this room which is the best electric scooter, I think 80% will say our scooter. Now, I'm not saying that there is no issue with our scooters. There are issues with every scooter, right? Uh, and we are solving all the issues like any other manufacturer would. In March, an Ola electric scooter caught fire in Pune. This fire, along with other recent fires in electric vehicle batteries, is under investigation by a high-level committee set up by the Ministry of Road Transport. Days after, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari warned EV makers to voluntarily recall vehicles or face strict penalties if any negligence was discovered, Ola Electric has ordered a recall of 1,400 scooters. This is how the company's founder responded when asked about the delay in recalling vehicles. Technically, if you look at global standards on uh, the process of recall, right, to figure out the root cause of something in, in a hardware world takes time. And, and the objective of a recall is to, uh, to fix the root cause, right? Uh, not just uh, polish it up a little. During the tour of the factory, the company stressed on multiple safety and quality checkpoints on the factory floor. The company says it is manufacturing 1,000 scooters per day and wants to scale up production to 3,500 per day by the end of the year. As the company embarks on an aggressive expansion plan, there have been at least six high-level exits at Ola Electric including two co-founders, heads of business operations and quality assurance, and the company's general counsel. Recently, Bhavi Shagarwal handed over the day-to-day -day operations to the company's CFO, raising questions about whether he was stepping aside. In that mail, I never said I'm stepping back. See, Ola is a large organization. Uh, we are doing a lot of things. We are in multiple business businesses, multiple geographies. Uh, we have leadership. You've met some of my leadership here. Uh, and we have leadership who are also uh, stepping up into, uh, you know, helping integrate a, a lot more of the entire operations tracks across the group, right? Now, what that means, uh, you know, I think it means whatever you want it to mean in, in its uh, abstracted out sense. Uh, but the point is, my own involvement is much more focused now on going deeper into engineering aspects, going deeper into future projects, doing much more deeper uh, operational uh, transformations of our core businesses. Ola Electric founder Bhavi Shagarwal confirmed that uh, they would be recalling vehicles in light of the recent electric vehicle fire. He also announced his intention to launch an electric car which would be sub 10 lakhs, a low price electric scooter later this year, the S1, and also an autonomous vehicle by 2023 or 2024. But in order to grow market share and win customer confidence, Ola Electric and Bhavi Shagarwal will have to focus on getting the thermal management system of batteries right also focus on quality and customer safety. With Vira journalist Manjunath in Krishnagiri, this is Parikshit Putra.